Alrighty, here's the 1v1 fight with dying on hard mode. Gonna show my materials first, then the fight, and then I'll show how to avoid all the deadly attacks at phase 3 at the end. For materia, I linked to elemental with fire for some extra damage, and poison since you can poison this boss. Adding healing, re-raised, or stat up materials will make this fight much easier. I'm just not using those to show minimal setups. When you start the fight, use overcharge then roll away. For these mass bullets, you can spam the block and try to get a lot of perfect blocks in to avoid damage. Phase 1 and 2 is pretty simple, you want to just hide behind the rocks to cast spells or charge your overcharge. After Dine shoots a couple of times with normal attacks or named attack, you can peek out and do some hits. If you have overcharge, then use that. If you are full ATB, then use Maximum Fury. But for Maximum Fury, you should wait until after he uses a skill before using it, so you don't get countered. His most deadly attack in Phase 1 and 2 is Point Blank, which is a command grab at close range. So if you stay far away, you'll be safe from that. And when you get the chance, you should cast Poison or Bile on Dine, since you can poison the boss, and the poison tick stacks up twice, so you can cast it two times. The other attack to watch out for is Repentance that he gets in Phase 2. It's a laser beam and in hard mode he shoots it twice and they break any rock or barriers you hide behind. You can dodge at the perfect time to avoid it, but it's pretty tight timing, so just hide behind the structure instead. The barriers will break after getting hit by the laser, but there are plenty of barriers to hide behind and destroy in Phase 2 that you don't have to worry about it. Every other attack in Phase 1 and 2 can be blocked and you can take zero damage from it, including the firebombs. The bullets are hard to fully block, just mash R1 or the block button as fast as you can while he's shooting, if you can't hide behind something. For phase 3, he clears the arena so there's no more things to hide behind, and he also gets a bunch of new unblockable attacks. I'll explain all the individual moves at the end and how to avoid damage from each one. He always starts with a heatless swing, which is two big sweeping attacks, so run away right at the beginning, and dodge the paralyzing lines. Make sure to get away pretty far, because the second swing has a much bigger range. While continuing, the hidden barb you can choose to destroy it or just dodge it three times. Destroying it can be a little risky because if you don't destroy it, you might be too slow to roll away from another attack. For the ray attacks where he summons five tentacle beams, there's two versions. One of them is very easy to deal with and the other one can be tricky to dodge, but for both versions you can run at him and make him cancel the attack. Executioner does a good amount of damage, and the best way to deal with it is just to run far away to avoid the slam entirely, then dodge the paralyzing lines on the ground. So the general advice for this fight is to wait for Dying to do an attack and then you counter back. If you have two ADBs, use maximum fury to get some extra damage in, or if you're close to stagger, then use focus shot. This ended up being a pretty quick phase 3, he didn't do that many attacks, so that's why after this I'll be showing all the other attacks that he does and how to deal with them. Needless Swing is always used at the beginning of phase 3, so run away, pretty far, and dodge the paralyzing lines on the ground. If you don't have room to run away, you can always try to dodge into it like here, but it is kind of risky. Since there's no more obstacles to block bullets, you're going to have to mash block or just hold block to eat the normal attacks, and you can always perfect block the firebombs. Undying Rage is one of the two tentacle attacks that shoots beams. The Undying Rage version is the slow one that you can use overcharge to defeat the five tentacles and pressure the boss. If your overcharge is not ready, just run towards the boss to make him cancel the attack with Iron Spike, and you can perfect block that or roll away. 
The other laser beam version is the Phantom Ray, which starts up a lot faster and is pretty annoying to dodge like you see here. So when I see Phantom Ray, I don't bother shooting the tentacles, I just run towards Dine to make him cancel it and go to the next attack. And remember, you can block or roll away from the Iron Spikes. Executioner is pretty annoying because you need to run pretty far back to avoid it, and he usually follows it up with two healer swing attacks, so you're gonna need a lot of room. His hidden barb spawns tentacles on the ground that chases after you. Wait for it to almost touch you, then roll away twice. The first one is to dodge the tentacles coming out of the ground, and the second is to dodge the paralyzing lines. If you have overcharge, then you can switch targets after it comes out and shoot down the tentacles, like here, but make sure you're not in the paralyzing lines before you do so. I suggest to just keep rolling to make it easier to dodge instead of trying to shoot down the tentacles. And finally, Annihilation Beam is his strongest attack and pretty hard to dodge. You can try to angle diagonally towards him to avoid the barrages, but it's not super reliable. The other method is to just use your limit break, which makes you immune to damage during the animation. And that's all the attacks that Dine has and how to handle them. Hope this was helpful and wish you the best on your hard mode run. Thanks for watching and have fun out there, soldier.